Hi everyone. In this video we're looking at how to migrate your site to SiteGround. If you're having hosting issues it can be such a hassle and it's a very common problem as a lot of people skimp on their hosting which is generally not a good idea. Many cheap hosts are not well specced and do not fulfill the minimum requirements for a smooth trouble-free hosting experience. But there are also many good hosts even at the cheap end. SiteGround is one of these. We have even teamed up with SiteGround to offer quick Avada installation when purchasing hosting from SiteGround. See the link below this video for more information on that. But in this video we are going to show you how to use SiteGround's built-in tools to transfer your site yourself to your new SiteGround hosting account. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. Ok let's begin. To start off, just log into your SiteGround account. If it's a brand new account, migration is offered immediately as part of the setup process. If you've already set up a website, you can always access the Site Migration tool on the Site Tools page from WordPress Migrator. But here we have an empty account, and so if I click on Set Up Site, we come to the Add New Website page, and here we need to make a choice of how to add our site. Choose New Domain if you want to register a domain with SiteGround as part of the process. Existing Domain is best if you have an existing site on different hosting that you want to transfer. That's the scenario we're looking at today. You can also use the Temporary Domain option to transfer a site to a temporary domain on SiteGround, which you can change later. For this video, I'm going to use the Existing Domain option. I'll just select that, and here it wants me to add the domain. I'll just add my domain name and click continue. Now we come to step 2 and here migrate website is one of the options. I'll select that and we can see a couple more options. The recommended option is the free superfast WordPress auto migration option. You can also order a manual transfer, but as you'll soon see the migration plugin is very easy to use. So I will select the auto migration option and click continue. On the next page I'm offered an extra service and you can add it here if you like, but if you don't want it you can just click finish. At this point your site is created on the SiteGround servers. This only takes a minute or two and then we're ready for the migration. There are three clear steps from here to finish the process as the page makes clear. You need to download the Migrator plugin to the site you want to transfer. You then grab the migration token from this page and then once your migration is complete you would need to point your name service to SiteGround to make the transferred site active. So at this point I will move over to the existing site I want to transfer. I have a pre-built site imported on this domain, so now I just need to head to the plugins page to add the migration plugin. Here I'll click on add new. In the search bar I'll search for SiteGround Migrator. And there it is. I'll install this. and activate it. Once it's active, we can see the SG Migrator menu in the sidebar. This is where we add the migration token. So I'll click that and paste my migration token into the field here. By default you also get a notification email when the process is complete. It's important that you make sure that your WordPress application has a valid email so you can receive this notification. You can edit your admin email in your WordPress admin panel at Settings General tab. Ok, the next step is to click Initiate Transfer. That's it. The SiteGround Migrator plugin now creates a copy of your site, moves it to the SiteGround servers, and installs it for you. You can follow the progress in the plugin interface. If you get any errors at this stage, it will likely be due to memory settings on the site you want to transfer. See the SiteGround knowledge base on upgrades and migration for solutions to any issues you encounter. The website migrator goes through a number of steps to prepare and transfer your site. The time it takes to complete the transfer will depend on the size of your site of course, but expect 10 to 20 minutes for the transfer to complete. Once the transfer is finished, you will see a screen like this, with instructions on how to complete your transfer. You will also receive that information via email. As it mentions at the top, a temporary URL is created for each transferred site that can be used for 48 hours to check how the site looks and functions in the new location. Let's go and check out the site. Ok, in this case our temporary link has redirected back to the main domain. This can happen with some configurations, 
So if it happens to you, there is a simple workaround. I'll just copy that temporary URL. So to get around this problem if it happens to you, you can either edit your host's file, and I'll post a SiteGround knowledge base link below for that method. Or more simply, you can just visit the skip DNS site, I will also put this link below the video, and here you can simply paste in the temporary link, and click on create to generate a new one. A new link is created which bypasses the DNS issue, and we can then visit the transferred site. But as I mentioned, for most people the temporary link will work just fine. OK, and there's our transferred site. It looks identical to the original, of course. Now if everything looks OK as it does here, then the last step is to switch your domain DNS settings on your domain registrar to point to your SiteGround servers. The new DNS settings are displayed in the plugin notice and in the email you are sent. You can also get the DNS settings at any time from your SiteGround client area. And as mentioned, if you have a more complex site, you can always request a professional transfer from the SiteGround team. There are also other free and reliable migration plugins you can use to transfer your site, so please check out our How to Migrate Your Website with All-in-One Migration doc, or the How to Migrate Your Website with Duplicator doc, both linked below. But if you are a SiteGround customer, there's no easier method than using this custom tool. Ok, this concludes our video on how to migrate your site to SiteGround. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos, and if you have any questions or need assistance, Please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.